Today we're gonna do some light painting with tubes. These are DIY because buying ones it's freaking expensive. So we need a camera as well and we need a princess. This one it's called Joanna. It's a unique model so you won't find it anywhere else except here. To do some light painting I'm gonna show you how to build this. Yes light tubes you're gonna need the different materials for example i am using here's this colored plastic to make the fuller of the tube now you can use uh, different materials to do this i used for the blue and the yellow tube headlight covers they are really really cool because they are also stickers so the tube itself the structure will be a towel protection for a table okay so make sure that it is at least one millimeter thick and even thicker the better because uh, structurally very very strong if it's a little bit thick okay and other materials like duct tape a scissors appliance that uh, the kids take to school okay well, the flashlight, it's very important. I use this one that is pretty damn small and very powerful. Now, so the tip will warm up a little bit, so be careful with that, but it's way better than the big ones because the big ones, well, they have a tendency to be more powerful, but also it will make the tube very thick, difficult to control and heavier. So yeah, so let's build this thing. So I'm gonna roll the towel protection as so, but I'm gonna use as measurement the flashlight. And cool enough, the flashlight has a clip which can hold the towel protection without unrolling. That is very, very handy. As this doesn't have a stick plastic, it's not a sticker, it's just a plastic. I'm gonna roll one time and then put a very small strip. It only needs to make one turn because this uh, plastic is a little bit opaque and I want the light to come out of course so a very small strip and I'm gonna roll it until I feel that the tube will hold its own weight picking up by one side so there you go I cut the excess and the duct tape to not unroll itself okay Immediately we find a small problem is that the light is escaping at the end of the tube when you turn on the flashlight. Now, we don't want that. We, are, we want to recover as much light as possible. Fortunately, this colored tape comes with this sponge and it's white, so quite reflective. And a small bit on the opposite side will block the light from escaping and reflect back into the tube. Now, if you want to get more powerful light on your tube, well, you can install the second light on the opposite side to be even brighter. Now, another tip is that don't throw the leftovers because these small uh, colors, you can attach them on the end of the tube as well with an elastic band and boom, you have two color light painting tubes. How cool is that? And why not install some sparkles on the end of the tube? <laughs> so yeah, I advise you to get the short ones because the long ones will endure for a long time and sometimes you want to stop light painting in. At least for my photography experience, I prefer the short ones. So let's talk about camera settings, okay? I'm gonna try to get 8 seconds of shutter speed at f11 or around f11 even the iso it's an l so it's low so 50 iso it's still overexposed so we have to wait until the ambient light gets down enough to use a higher iso so my objective about the iso will be around 200 400 iso i put a shutter delay of two seconds and as you can see it's manual focus in the image stabilization it's off because the camera is in a tripod you don't need image stabilization for this shot okay my original plan was to use a radio to shutter release the camera but if i need to change the settings because i'm gonna be with juana on the opposite side of this pond it would be extremely hard and try to explain the boyfriend how to do that on a very specific camera will be way too hard. So what I'm gonna do is connect my camera via Wi-Fi to my smartphone so I can change the settings on the fly. Last night it was foggy, it was really, really beautiful, but I didn't have Joana with me, unfortunately. So this settings is just an example. You must adapt the settings to your 
light and ambient light, okay? The cool thing is that the light that I am using, I can control the output of luminosity. And for example, if I want to photograph, I don't know, the Milky Way, I can use 3200 ISO, F2.8 or F2, and still reduce the power of the light so it won't be overexposed. How cool is that? it's getting up so tripod was already on the water so it was getting dangerous we decided to change the outfit and change the color of the jedi knight now i am a templar guard now the camera is almost the same settings as before you just adapt to your situation in my situation i am at uh, 1600 iso f11 10 seconds of exposure because my choreography is about 10 seconds uh, I have a rock over there as a reference, you're gonna see on the photo, so let's do this! Are you ready, Joana? Yes! Okay! You don't know I am a great fan of Darth Maul and uh, his history, special on uh, uh, Rebels. But let's try to use the this one. It looks red, but I think it's more purple or whatever. I am putting two lights, and yeah, let's see what we can get with this. So let's consider by old stuff done instead of building yourself, okay? So these are very expensive tubes. This 90 bucks, it's including only three tubes, very fragile tubes and no pocket lights, okay? Yeah, everything is expensive in light painting. Even these things, 40 bucks for a round plexiglass tube, for example, which is not uh, the most bright thing to, to use, but there we go. So let's tackle the elephant in the room, which is doing yourself. It's freaking expensive as well. $24 for the tablecloth. The colors, okay, this one, uh, it's around 10 bucks. Imagine if you want uh, two, uh, let's say three colors, so 33 bucks. So the flashlight, 46 bucks. Let's go then to the battery and the charger, because these bad boys, although they cost uh, more than 45 bucks, they don't come with the battery. So you have to get the battery itself and a charger with it. So yeah, this is the cheap version. I actually bought way high-end quality than this ones. That makes a total of $131. $131. Including the lights that I reviewed, the WeLight uh, K21. Well, I connected one to each other to make a really cool photo. So these things can get very expensive very, very quick. It's impressive. <laughs> okay, there you go. That was very fun and very expensive, uh, but very fun. So also Andrea tried out the Jedi mode as well. So this was very, very fun. So drop a like if you learned something, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. I am Miguel, until next time and practice your Jedi moves. <laughs> Cut.